The good news is, during all this uncertainty that we're all sailing through, we are sailing through it. And Hoosiers are stepping forward in numerous and various ways. In times of adversity, you see true character revealed. And maybe the silver lining in all of this is not only am I convinced that we're going to come out on the other side in a much stronger position, but we get to compile so many. Dr. Sullivan used the word spirit. We get to compile so many acts of generosity, that spirit of cooperation, that spirit of not just on the EMS front or the law enforcement, which their job is to serve and protect first and foremost. That's how they'll lean into this, is to help, to use the superintendent's word. But we're also seeing average, ordinary citizens that haven't stepped forward before. Maybe they wear their uniform. The, the, the police in Southport now are making runs for the elderly, making sure that they get food, making sure they get to a doctor's appointment, making sure they get medicine, and pick up their prescriptions for them. We had, they'll remain anonymous, but we had someone walk into the Indiana State Department of Health yesterday, dropped off 150 N95 masks, said, I don't want anything. I don't want, any, I don't want recognition. I don't want paid. I want to help. That's all I want to do. Use them as you want. The casino up in Hammond, Indiana, took their, when they closed down, they quickly turned and said, we're going to get our perishable food to community programs. Quickly. In New Albany, you've got a community partnership that's helping some of the restaurant owners and helping people who are out of work with a daily stipend. These are folks that are coming out of the woodwork. There's a refurbished school bus in Plainfield that is delivering meals. This is in addition to and on top of and alongside of, Dr. Sullivan mentioned it in passing and it should be underscored again, we received earlier today a commitment of $5 million from the Lilly Endowment to use as we see fit to fight back. That's how we're going to be able to help the homeless throughout the state of Indiana. This is going to have a transformational, positive impact even when we get to the other side of this. We're learning how to do things in a moment of crisis that are going to benefit an untold number of people, maybe some people who have been on the margins. And we're doing the right thing. And to be part of this team, and when I say team, I mean everybody. I'm not talking about this administration. I'm not talking about the executive branch or the legislative branch or the judicial branch or folks who work inside this building. I'm talking about everybody. And I'll quote Coach Dale. I do a lot anyway, but I'll, co I'll, I'll quote Coach Dale. My team's on the court. And I'm pretty proud that people are stepping up and playing different roles, setting picks and getting rebounds and blocking out. Not everybody's trying to be the shooter. 